Hey guys, make sure to wait till the end because I have a very special surprise for you. And guess what that surprise is. Anyways, I hope you enjoy my first impression. Ciao ragazzi, my name is Rovo Scott and today I'm going to give you my first impressions on the battle from beta. I'm sorry this took a long time, but I have been really busy, um, especially when I have to focus on other things. For those of you guys who don't know me personally, you guys already know that I am a student, but that's all you need to know about my education level. Um... So yeah, you know, I'm really busy, but don't worry, I'll try to upload when I have free time, and I'll try to upload when, um, you know, on the weekends and stuff. Now, I did compare this game to Rainbow Six Siege, um, and it's beta, and I said in my first impressions of the Rainbow Six Siege beta that even though, you know, the game got a high grade, I'm still going to buy a Battlefront. Because Battlefront has more content, it has more features than Rainbow Six Siege. Unfortunately, after when I played the beta and I saw other people's first impressions, I decided to reevaluate on myself and realize that Battlefront may be exactly as the game. Um, so yeah, but if you want to see my Rainbow Six Siege um, beta first impressions, a link will be in the description below or in the card sections on the top right. All right, so. Let me give you my first impressions. EA DICE brought back a nostalgic video game series that adopted the franchise of the Star Wars saga, Battlefront. So, when the game was going to come out, but EA DICE were kind enough to give us a, um, a beta, I did not know whether I would be met with discomfort or a nostalgic feeling. Of course, it is a beta and it will have some technical flaws. But will the game? See, Star Wars Battlefront is what I like to call an MOF TPS, or a multiplayer online first third person shooter. This means that you'll be able to go online and play with other people through multiplayer if you so choose. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. Or you can play solo. And you can switch between a first person and a third person point of view while also shooting your primary weapon which will most likely be a gun and that is why it's considered a shooter. This game is about players participating in actual Star Wars battles from the movies and lets players go on Hoth, Tatooine, Solace and Endor. Now when it comes to the story and characters, unfortunately there is no campaign. There were a lot, a lot of modes that were blocked off um, in the beta and a lot of them and a lot of those modes were promised to be in the full game, but there was no campaign and a lot of people have known this for a while. However, there is a mode that is a substitute for that, it's known as Mission. And Mission is where you, you players get to go to three separate modes. However, the only one that was available during the beta was Survival Mode, and that is pretty self-explanatory. What I like about Survival Mode was that it provided a scenario where players are given an insight on the situation. The one I saw in the beta were two rebel soldiers who appeared to have crash landed on Tatooine and then clone troopers started pouring in. I really hope that there will be different maps on each of the planets available in survival mode. The characters you play as are also awesome. In Walker Assault, which was one of the multiplayer modes, you get to play as Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. Both are different in style and in pace. And when it comes to style, they both have different skills. Luke can use a force push, a rush attack, and even a heavy attack, while Vader can use a choke on players, a lightsaber throw, or a heavy attack. Playing them is exciting and rewarding if you get kills. You can also obviously play as rebel or clone troopers once you play in any of the game modes. Every time I respawn as a clone trooper or as a rebel soldier, my character looked different and had a different skin color, was part of a different nationality, which I think is awesome. When it comes to the environment of the game, I can only describe it in one word, nostalgic. 
players get to go to three different planets in the beta, each showing a different game mode. Solace was in Drop Zone, Hoth was in Walker Assault, and Tatooine was in Survival. Each of these maps are extremely beautiful, which brings back memories of watching the Star Wars saga. Solace has a dirty volcanic landscape, while Tatooine has a harsh environment, and Hoth shows its bitter battlefield. Not only that, but events in the game like capturing control points or fighting enemies triggers the wonderful music and acting that was represented in the Star Wars saga. Although not as destructive as Battlefield 4, as Battlefield 4 was, or any of the Battlefield games, it did have some objects and even turrets that could have been easily destroyed with a rocket launcher. The same adjective I gave the environment is the same one I give to Battlefront's gameplay. There are vehicles of the past that are brought back to life, like AT-ATs, ATSTs, which all of you know that I am afraid of, uh, T-Fighters, Speeders, X-Wings, and so much more. The weapons are also brought back to life, you know, from the Star Wars saga. What I did not like was that I could not customize nor upgrade these weapons, but it's okay because they still get the job done. What makes Battlefront different in terms of weapons is that instead of using ammunition, players have this re reloading game, okay? Where every time the weapon overheats, a red bar will show up and the players have to hit the good spot in order to quickly use the weapon again. First person shooters usually have perks as well but Battlefront does it differently. Instead of having to get 10 kills just to earn a perk or a game changing device, Battlefront has a card system. There are two types of cards, star cards and charge cards. Star cards give players extra artillery or items like grenades or jetpacks. Charge cards are like perks for players like force field or extra damage shots. Charges have a limit though, yet can be collected on the battlefield. There is also a partner system where players will be matched with different partners and can use their own star cards or charge cards, only for that match however. Speaking of which, there are also different icons on the battlefields. These icons give players an opportunity to fly in airships or to operate as an ATAT or ATST or to play as Vader or Luke or to use awesome weapons and much more. The only problem was that these icons do not appear often and some players of the beta won't even be able to play as Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker because someone got them and are using them foolishly. There needs to be more of these items lying around and it sucks because they are a game changer. I found myself overpowered by the clone troopers during walking assault because they had the most power. There was only one vehicle that can change the game, but that appears at the final stage of Walker Assault. I only won as Rebel once in Walker Assault. Spawns also need to be better, especially if you're playing as a Jedi or a Sith, because you want to get as many kills as possible. Now, for the names of the modes that were available in the beta, there were two multiplayer modes, Drop Zone and Walker Assault. Drop Zone is where players, um, must activate and defend pods in order to receive awesome icons. Walker Assault is like Rush in Battlefield. The other modes in multiplayer sounded exciting like Blast or Cargo. However, the modes in Mission Mode, which were blocked off because it was a beta but were promised to be in the full game, their descriptions seemed dull and unexciting. In conclusion, this beta was awesome and extremely nostalgic. However, EA DICE gave us a really small crumb of the upcoming game, which sucks because I wanted more. Did they make a mistake in giving us too little and no campaign and is Battlefront not the game I hoped for? Who knows? Anyways, for the story and characters, I gave it a 4 out of 5. For the environment, music, and acting, I gave it a 5 out of 5, and for the gameplay mechanics, I give it a 3 out of 5. As a result, I recommend this game by 80%. It is a really good beta, but if this is all EA DICE is giving us, 
then I'd rather get other games. Still, I would rather choose this game over Rainbow Six Siege, which had gotten an 87% on my first expression. So now I just spoiled it for you guys who wanted to see my first impression on Rainbow Six Siege. But still. So guys, that was my first impression on the Battlefront beta. I'm sorry this came in late. Um, I was really busy this week. I'm actually busy right now, but I just wanted to, you know, leave off some steam. Make sure to also go check my Rainbow Six Siege beta first impression. Um, again, link is in the description below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. You know, um, add me on Steam. And check out my LinkedIn page as well. And read my blogs. I'll see you guys in the next video.